Hello and welcome to another video for Manage Engine Service Desk Plus, the cloud-based help desk solution. Today, we will be taking a look at the Problems module. In the Service Desk Plus application, you will be able to create problems in multiple ways. One is by going directly to the problem module and creating a problem or you can convert an existing request to a problem in the application. Let's take a look. Click the Problems tab and click on the New Problem button to create a problem. Specify the name of the user who reported the problem or you can choose from the requester list. Specify other details that are required for the problem and also specify the time within which the problem should be completed. You can specify what are the services that are getting affected and the assets that are involved with this particular problem. Specify a title and a description for the problem and you can also attach files with a size limit of 10 MB per attachment. Once you click save, this is how your problem will look like. You get quick details of the problem and on the right hand side, you get the details like whether the problem is a known error, what are the tasks that are associated, when it is due by, and so on. Using the known error option, the technician can specify whether the problem is a known error or not. A technician can go to the analysis tab and specify the details such as the impact, the root cause, and the symptoms for the particular problem. He can add those details either as a text or he can simply attach it as a file. You can also add tasks to a problem from the task tab just like how we do for the request and technician can also specify a workaround for a problem or a solution. This solution can be directly added to the knowledge base as well. Technicians can also set reminders and add work log entries for problem. While entering a work log entry, technician can simply specify how many hours they took to resolve the problem which will automatically calculate the executor time. Specify the cost and you can add a work log to the problem. You can also send out notifications and view the notifications over here and you can also get a history on what has happened on this particular problem. Technicians can also associate incidents to a problem by clicking on the attach button and choose the incidents that are associated with this particular problem. Technicians can associate multiple incidents to problems in the application. You can also set up notifications for problem in the application by going to setup and under automation, you got the notification rules. Click the problem tab and you will be able to set up notification like alert the technician by email when a problem is assigned to him or when a request is associated to the problem and so on. All these notification templates are customizable as per your preference. As I said earlier, you will be able to convert requests to problems as well. You can do that by going to the request module Click on a subject of the request and click associated problem. Click new next to the associated problem. Specify the details for this particular problem and you will be able to convert this request to a problem in the application. Once an incident is converted to a problem, you can click on the title to get a quick view of the problem and you can also pop it out to view the complete problem details in the application. You can also generate reports for problems as well in the application. Go to reports and you have your predefined reports over here and also you can create custom reports as well for the problems module. Choose the columns that are required and you will be able to generate your own report in the application. This report can also be scheduled just like how we did for the request module in the application. Similarly, you also have dashboards available for the problem management as well. Go to home, click the dashboard button, choose the problem in the change dashboard.